Signature for every Bushcraft Ridge unboxing, except I use the uh, Spyderco uh, Tenacious. Uh, it's part of Spyderco's line that's uh, made in China. Uh, they use uh, 8CR MOV steel, which is uh, uh, a, a good, inexpensive uh, stainless steel, uh, Chinese stainless steel. Uh, takes an edge and holds an edge very well. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, I got this for about $50. Uh, really great for something with the quality of build of Spyderco. Uh, and the stainless steel, usually I, I, I do like carbon steel, but uh, uh, when you're talking about a pocket knife where you generally have a very thin profile on the blade, uh, stainless uh, is a better material to make thin blades from. Now let's get on with this unboxing. Hey, what's up? Just shooting a little uh, unboxing video here. Now, yeah, come check it out. <clears throat> you can uh, be part of the audience. Nice. Uh, got, there, <clears throat> got this as a birthday present for Brad. Uh, it is a uh, primitive fire kit. Oh, cool, yeah. So, uh, this first thing I'm unwrapping here is similar to the style of brass tinderbox uh, that was on George Washington's person. Uh, carried it in his time in the wild. Uh, so I'm actually going to get this engraved for Brad, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, open this that I usually wouldn't because it's a present. Uh, so we'll try and do this delicately so I can kind of put it back together and make it look nice for him. Um, cool. so since I'm going to get this engraved, we'll just go ahead and pull it out and look at it and get a first impression. Oh, that fits very well together. That's a tight seal. Uh, and of course the idea is you can store some tinder and fire materials in here and keep it dry. Uh, Check yeah, that that's out. cool. Oh yeah, this is a really tight seal. It's awesome. <clears throat> and then uh, there are some components that I got to go with that tinder box. I will go ahead and use the knife on this. And this should be yes. Very nice piece of uh, English flint, and a striker for striking uh, flint and steel fires. It even comes with a little piece of char cloth there. Looks like lamp wick that's been charred a bit. So my plan for the present, I kind of stole this idea from a company named Hudson Bay, but I thought I could uh, uh, part out the separate components of it and get higher quality components than what comes with their uh, sort of pre-made kit. So the flint, steel, char cloth, you can even fit more char cloth, put some uh, cedar bark or uh, river birch bark in there, whatever kind of tinder you, you pick up so that you always have a nice uh, airtight waterproof tinder box. All fits together just like that. Uh, and this additional piece that came with the flint and steel, what I'll do uh, before I give this to Brad, I'm going to take a, a small drill bit, because uh, I don't want to use a nail, uh, and drill a, a tiny hole in the top of this and then this will actually be used to make more char cloth. Uh, and we, we'll do another video uh, to show you more about that, how that's done. Oh, that's cool. Uh, 
Nice. Um, so it burns the end, so it catches. Yeah, easy. so you basically you put, uh, you cut out little squares of cotton, maybe some old jeans. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll probably, use, I've got some old jeans that are kind of tore up, I'm not going to wear anymore. So I'll cut squares of cotton, uh, fill this full of the cut cotton, <clears throat> and then close it, and uh, put this on a flame, put yeah. this on a fire. Yeah, uh, it dries it out. And it'll, yeah, it'll actually turn it into like charcoal. Yeah. Uh, so the little hole we drill in the top, when it's on the flame, you'll see smoke billowing. Uh, and it's wet smoke because it's mm -hmm. all the moisture and chemicals uh, that are not just the carbon cotton, uh, carbon and cotton uh, billowing out. When that smoke stops, you know it's good and charred. You take it off the flame uh, and it'll be, the cotton will all, oh, that is a good seal. Uh, the, the cotton will all turn the black of that yeah. tip of this lamp wick and just the tiniest spark uh, will catch it uh, and it will just sit there and burn like an ember. So it won't flame and, and yeah. burn the cloth away, it will just keep an ember like a piece of uh, glowing charcoal. Yes, yeah, so you've always got something So you put that little piece of uh, cloth then in your tinder bundle, uh, blow on it <clears throat> mm -hmm. and that will flame right up. That's awesome. Nice. Hey guys, this is uh, Nate. Oh, and Brad. Uh, coming at you from Bushcraft Ridge uh, with part two of the unboxing. This is uh, uh, more of a opening a birthday present than an unboxing. Uh, but uh, here we go. I have a guess of what it is in my mind. All right, all right. But well, if you notice, it's wrapped in uh, Harbor Freight Coupon. Yeah, I just saw that. I should have saved all of those. <laughs> I really should have been more careful opening this. <laughs> so, as always, got to break out the trusty CRKT in 2104G. Link in the description below. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, there really will be a link in the description below. Good knife work. Did not point it at me. Kept, uh, uh, good idea of his uh, safety reps always. Oh, this is there it tinder. is. It's tender. Oh. I got you tender for your birthday. Thank you. We you need to probably get this. two solid bird nests out. I mean, this is, yeah, like you drop a coal right in there. Yeah. Fold up that bird nest and you're like, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna really help out on those. That's uh, good tinder. Yeah. On it those. was uh, shifting that and uh, as soon as I saw it, I thought, yeah, open, open that. Oh. Oh, we got a little, we got a tin here. It's a uh, tin for making char cloth. Oh, I, I thought it was, I thought it was fresh air to breathe when we're climbing and getting out of breath. Hey, we and are we often take out of breath. That can be its a secondary purpose is actually fill it with good oxygen before we start. Don't char the cloth before you take the breath though. Yes. That's, yes. that's not gonna work. That is, this is going in the fire pack. I think it's a shoe shining kit. So that is designed after the uh, tinderbox kit that was carried by George Washington. What? It was found in his personal effects. Uh, the mark, the muscle loading girl, cash manufacturing, cash manufacturing company. It says it has Nelson engraved on the lid. And let's see if I can open this. It's a tight seal. Oh, it's flint and steel. Yeah. And some, uh, oh, it looks like a wick. Yeah, it looks it's like a little char cloth. Uh, they made out of, out of lamp wick. Nice. Now I will have to uh, practice using this because I'm not, this is not a how to video. I'm going to have to go watch some how to videos to figure out what to do here. You can usually lay the char cloth right on top <coughs> of the flint and then, or yeah, on the flint and then strike toward that area. Yeah. Like this? Yeah. yeah. And then hit. You uh, tried this already, didn't you? Yeah, I, I did one spark. I see how it would <laughs> you do. tried this. Uh, put the, the I'm not going to do it right now. Yeah. I'm not going to do it right like this one. Oh, uh, yeah, because it uh, broke uh, off a pretty really good spark. spark. Really spark. So, we're going to cut here, it's going to fade out, and we're going to magically be in the woods starting a fire with this bad boy. Thanks, brother. Happy birthday.